So friends, let's see today's four delicious chicken recipes. First is the chicken sausage chili fry. Then is the normal chicken chili fry. Then we have some lovely ghee roast and some lovely chicken masala. So let's see today's easy yet delicious chicken sausage chili fry recipe. Now I've just taken regular chicken sausages and I've just chopped them into fine pieces. This is one medium onion sliced fine, one capsicum sliced fine. This is a paste of ginger and garlic, about four cloves of garlic and one inch of ginger. This is one light green chili chopped fine and some coriander uh, chopped fine. This is some turmeric powder, some coriander powder and some pepper powder. All ingredients with their measurements will be given in the description box below. Now I'm going to heat about one tablespoon of oil and I'm going to fry my sausages well. And once my sausages are nice and fried, I'm going to take them up and keep them in a bowl aside. And then we're going to continue with the recipe. So here are my sausages have nicely got fried. And in the same oil, I'm going to now add my other ingredients. I'm going to start by frying my light green chili very well. Once the chili is nice and fried, next we'll go in my ginger garlic paste. Fry that well too. Next is going to go my caps in my capsicum. I've just used one small green capsicum or bell pepper and chopped it really fine. Next goes in my one medium sized onion chopped fine. Then I'm going to add one teaspoon of black pepper powder, two teaspoons of coriander or dhania powder, and half a teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder. We're going to mix everything really well together. Now I'm going to add my fried sausages back into the mix. Give everything a good mix. Then I'm going to flavor it with some salt to taste. Now you could add tomatoes if you like tomatoes, but we don't really like tomatoes in this, so I don't add it, but you can. And just a little uh, bit of Kashmiri red chili powder to give it a nice color. That's totally optional. Just about one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. To add your chopped up coriander or cilantro. Give everything a good mix. And then I'm just going to cover it and cook it for about two to three minutes till everything nicely comes together. And that's it, friend. Your sausage chili fry is all ready. You can have this stuffed into some pao. You can have it with a rice and dal. Or you can have it with some chapatis or poris. So for this chicken chili fry, I've heated about one tablespoon of oil in a pan. To that, I'm going to be adding two light green chilies, which I've chopped really fine. Now fry the chilies well. Once that is done, we're going to add one medium sized onion chopped really fine. And we're going to fry the onion also very well for at least half a minute. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and fry the ginger garlic paste well too. Now I'm going to add one medium sized tomato and fry that well too. All ingredients with their right measurements are going to be in the description box below. Now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder and mix everything really well. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of pepper powder and again mix everything well. So this is our bagar. And you have to fry everything really nicely. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato ketchup or tomato sauce, as well as half a teaspoon of crushed kasuri methi. Now I'm going to add half a cup of water and get everything really mixed in well together. I'm going to add one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder and just one fourth of a teaspoon of garam masala, some salt to taste. 
and now I'm going to add 150 grams of cooked chicken. Now I'm going to leave the in the description box as to how I uh, cook the chicken. It's very simple, so you can check the description box for how I pre-cooked my chicken and kept it ready. So mix everything really well. We are going to cover and cook this for about three minutes on a low flame, and our chili fry is all ready. Just garnish it with some lovely freshly chopped coriander, and you're all set. So for today's recipe, I've taken about 300 grams of chicken. I'm using boneless uh, breast, which I've cut into uh, pieces. I'm going to add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and about one teaspoon of green chili paste. Now you could use chicken on the bone too. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of coriander powder or dhania powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder, some salt to taste. And I'm also going to add about half a tablespoon of vinegar. Instead of vinegar, you can also substitute it with some lemon juice or lime juice. Now we got to mix all of this really well together. So this is our marinade and we're going to set this aside for at least 30 minutes. You could keep it for longer, an hour or two. Now I've taken two medium sized onions, slice them and I'm going to fry them in one tablespoon of ghee till it becomes nice and golden brown in color. Now here I'm heating uh, one tablespoon of ghee and I'm going to add this marinated chicken to it and I'm going to fry the chicken really well in this ghee for at least a whole minute. Once that is done, we're going to take the chicken out. Now in the same ghee, I'm going to add a few curry, a fresh curry leaves and about five dried red chilies. Now fry these really well. And now I'm going to add the puree of one, uh, you know, medium sized tomato. I've just put it into my mixer pot and made it into puree. You can also use the ready made one. Mix all of this really well together. And now I'm going to add this chicken that we fried really well. And then we're going to mix everything nicely together. Now this dish is really, really very, very delicious and it's a real hot favorite at my place. Now I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of pepper powder. And I'm also going to add one four teaspoon of garam masala. Now I have a recipe for homemade garam masala. I have linked it in the description box below along with the recipe. So you can just click and, uh, you know, go and see the recipe. And uh, just mix everything nicely together. Now I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of red chili powder. And again, give everything a good mix. Now this is more of a dry kind of a dish, it doesn't have any kind of gravy. And now we're going to add the fried onions. So fry the onions really well till they're nice and crispy and golden brown and add that and mix all of this together really, really well. And now we're going to cover and cook this on a very low flame for about 10 minutes or even 15 minutes till everything really comes together and the aroma of the spices and everything, you know, it will, you'll just come to know that it's going to be really delicious. And uh, I like to have this best with some chapatis or even some rice and dal as a side dish. It's really, really good. And it tastes even better the next day. And just garnish it with some coriander leaves and your lovely chicken roast is all ready. Hi everyone and welcome back to Akshita's Recipes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today's recipe is this amazing masala chicken or chicken masala fry and it can be had you know semi dry or dry or with a little more gravy it goes super super well with some rotis or some chapatis or even with some dal and rice so it it gets ready really quickly it has few ingredients and the end result is super delicious so let's jump into today's recipe so friends, let's start with today's lovely chicken masala recipe. Now here I have 200 grams of chicken. You can use chicken on the bone. I'm using boneless chicken breast cut up into cubes. To that I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi powder, some salt to taste. I'll leave a recipe of how I make the ginger garlic paste at home. It's super simple. 
and I'm also going to add one fourth cup of yogurt or dahi. I've just beaten up the yogurt with a, a spoon. Now I'll leave a recipe of how I make my curd or dahi at home. It's super simple. I never buy dahi or curd from outside. It's really, really easy. Now we're going to mix everything really well. And we're going to set this aside for at least 30 minutes minimum. You can set it for a longer time also. And now uh, here I have one medium sized tomato that I've just chopped uh, roughly. I also have some 10 to 15 cashew nuts and about one fourth cup of fresh coriander leaves that I've washed really well. Now we're going to add this to a mixer a jar and I'm going to grind this to a very smooth paste. Now you don't need to add any water because the tomato uh, serves as the, you know, uh, I mean, uh, makes it into a nice fine paste like this. This is what we're looking for. Now I'm going to add the paste to a bowl and then I'm going to add about one fourth cup of water to my mixer jar and we're going to use this masala water. Now for the other ingredients, here I have one medium sized onion chopped fine. Two teaspoons of homemade ginger garlic paste. You can use the ready bun also. Half a teaspoon of cumin powder. One four teaspoon of garam masala. This is also homemade as well as the powders are also ground at home. I'll leave recipes for all of that. One teaspoon of coriander powder or dhania. And this is one teaspoon of red chilli powder. Now here I've heated up my pan and I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil to the pan. Once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add the onion and I'm going to fry the onion till it's nice and translucent. Then I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste and I'm going to fry the onions and the ginger garlic really well for a whole minute. Now I'm going to add our ground paste. And I'm going to fry all these three ingredients really well for at least another two minutes. We have to get this uh, bagar really nice because that will, you know, elevate the flavor of the dish and that will really uh, make this dish uh, taste amazing. So take your time with this and uh, it will really fry the masala. Now I'm going to add the cumin powder, the coriander powder and the red chili powder. We won't add the garam masala at this point. And now we're going to mix everything well and now you've got to fry this for a whole five minutes stirring continuously on a low to medium flame because we want all of this to really, you know, it has to look like this. It turns into a darker color as well as you'll see that there's some oil oozing out of this uh, mixture. That's because we've added the cashew nuts. Cashew nuts also do tend to ooze out oil. And now is the time to add your garam masala. And now again, we're going to mix everything really nicely together. We want all the ingredients to really, you know, come together really nicely to make this dish taste amazing. And now I'm going to add my marinated chicken. Like I said, you can use chicken on the bone, but I like using uh, lean chicken. And I'm going to mix everything really, really well. We want all of this bagar to really coat the chicken very nicely. So take your time, mix everything well. Use a large pan or a large vessel or a large, uh, you know, uh, a dish. And now I'm going to add the masala water. We don't need to add a lot of water because even the chicken oozes out some water. And we don't want this to be a very runny curry kind of a dish. It's more on the semi-dry side. And now again, mix everything. And now we're going to cook this on a low flame for 10 minutes. And you're going to keep stirring in between. Now, after 10 minutes, again, you're going to mix everything really nicely. You'll see how much of water has come out from the, you know, the chicken, the onions. And now for the color, I'm going to add 2 to 3 teaspoons of this Kashmiri red chili powder. So this doesn't make the dish spicy. It just adds a beautiful color. I love adding Kashmiri chili powder to most of my, uh, you know, chicken recipes because it really makes it look so nice. And, you know, we eat with our eyes too because our food has to look appetizing. Uh, that's when, you know, you really want to dig in and uh, eat it. So Kashmiri chili powder is good. So now you can see after cooking it for a long time, it looks so amazing. But now I'm going to cover and cook it on a very low flame for another three minutes. And after three minutes, you'll see that everything has come together so well. We just need to add two more ingredients and we're done. So look at the dish. It is so amazing. 
everything has come together so well. I've just chopped up some uh, coriander leaves just for garnishing it and then I'm going to put the flame off and then I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon. So now you don't, I mean, I don't know uh, where I learned this from, but they always say that don't add lemon juice when the heat is on. You always got to put the heat off and add the lemon juice and then you're all ready to serve it. It's so amazing. This goes so well with some roti, chapatis, puris, bhakris, rice and dal, anything guys. It's just amazing and I suggest that you do make this. like the recipe are you waiting to try it on isn't it super fast super simple easy just like all my other recipes nothing too complicated yet the end result is finger licking delicious so if you like today's video don't forget to give this a big big thumbs up by clicking on the thumbs up icon that you see below this video also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and become a part of my channel and once you have subscribed do click the notification bell click on all that way you won't miss out anything happening on my channel so thank you guys for being here thank you for supporting akshita's recipes and i'll catch you soon sooner than you think in my next recipe bye